Trouble mounts for the Trumps as former US President Donald Trump's family and his business may face fines of over $1.5 million if found guilty of fraud and tax evasion. Now, during a New York trial, all set to begin on Monday, the Trump Organization is currently run by Trump's two sons, Donald Trump Jr. and Eric Trump. The firm is facing the charges of hiding compensation it paid to some of its top executives, allegedly between 2005 and 2021. One such executive and longtime CFO of the company, Alan Weiselberg, has already pleaded guilty to 15 counts of tax fraud. Weiselberg is expected to testify against his former company as part of a plea bargain. Now, according to his plea deal, Weiselberg has agreed to pay nearly $2 million in fines and complete a five-month prison sentence in exchange for testimony during this trial. The 75-year-old, a close friend of the Trump family, Weiselberg, has admitted he schemed with the company to receive undeclared benefits, such as a rent-free apartment in a posh Manhattan neighborhood, luxury cars for him and his wife, and private school tuition for his grandchildren. However, he's so far refused to give direct testimony implicating the former president in the alleged scheme. The suit pertains to two subsidiaries of the Trump family's sprawling real estate, golf and hospitality business. And it does not name Donald Trump. However, he is facing charges along with three of his eldest children in another civil investigation over allegedly inflating and deflating the value of their properties to avoid tax liabilities and to get more favorable loan and insurance deals. Accusations Trump strongly denies. Now, the former president is at the center of a Justice Department investigation into the handling of highly classified documents, which the FBI seized from his Florida home. The former president is facing multiple state and federal probes into his involvement in the January 6, 2021 attack on the US Capitol. The 76-year-old Republican Trump has heavily hinted at a 2024 White House run. He has decried the legal charges against him and his businesses as witch hunts. Now, for more on this, for more on this, we're joined by our correspondent Susan Tafrani, who comes uh, from New York with this live report. Now, Susan, just how can we expect this latest civil trial uh, in Manhattan to unfold? So right now we are at a point where uh, it's going to be a selection for a jury duty regarding this trial. Uh, hundreds of individuals will be lining up in the district court of Manhattan uh, and the judge will select about 12 members of uh, the community to become jurors. And this could take months just because they need to be vetted to see that they don't have any conflict of interest. And that's the point that we are right now. Ultimately, as you mentioned, Donald Trump is not a party to uh, this uh, case. However, it's interesting to note that um, Alvin Bragg, the district attorney of New York, actually suggested uh, and wanted the Trump organization entities to plead guilty earlier, even before this trial started, to felony counts. Lawyers of the Trump uh, of the Trump uh, company said that they would plead guilty to misdemeanor. However, when word got to Donald Trump he sa uh, himself, he said, absolutely not. We are not entering a plea deal uh, and we're going to go ahead with this uh, case and the trial and see what happens at the end, signaling his confidence ultimately about how things are going to work out or whether or not he's just willing to pay the fine. One of the reasons why Donald Trump didn't want to enter a plea deal, of course, is because uh, of the political implications that it would have ultimately and the optics of that. Well, Susan, something I'm sure we'll be talking about again as this trial unfolds. Uh, that was our correspondent, Susan Tehrani, joining us live from New York.